All right, I'd like to demonstrate for you my rain barrel setup and the lessons I learned, some of the successes I had, and things that I'll be doing different for next year. But uh, as you can see, here's my house. I'm collecting rain off of this roof, that little tiny roof, and then this whole roof. It all comes down to one gutter right here. <coughs> And we'll go over and see, it's two 55 gallon drums for a total capacity of 110 gallons. And here's my little setup. So you can see, here's the gutter that is coming down from the roof. It was originally going straight down into this uh, little drainage pipe system that goes down and out into the yard. So I rerouted that using some angle brackets, angle gutters, whatever. And took a jigsaw and cut a hole in the top of one of the barrels. And then put in this little screen gizmo to kind of collect some of, the, uh, some of the junk. And then from there, gallon one fills. And then through uh, this pipe down at the bottom, uh, gravity fills the second barrel and then off of the end of that is my spigot and hose and I uh, take the hose out and water our uh, garden out there in the yard okay so immediately uh, there's some issues that I quickly learned first you'll see that I have uh, this ratchet strap so uh, the two drums are sitting on top of concrete blocks and you'll see right there. And uh, because of my ornamental grass here, I uh, was trying to use the grass to hide the barrels a little bit so that they're not just this uh, ugly contraption sitting on the side of the house, which they kind of are. But uh, I discovered that I couldn't get my concrete blocks uh, up into the ornamental grass enough. And as a result, uh, the barrels, when they're full, tend to uh, have a serious lean to them uh, to the left and to the right. So the ratchet straps keep them together, keep them as one, uh, and then I have this little bag here to kind of keep the uh, rainwater off of the, uh, the ratchet system. Uh, and then the other thing that you'll see is this crazy uh, pipe right here. So that's my overflow, and you'll see it comes off of that side of the barrel comes around here, taps off of this side of the barrel, and then does a 90 to go down. So that's my overflow so that when the barrels fill up, it just flows uh, into the original drainage system. Uh, so the reason why they're on the outside is uh, that's a folly of, of my part. I had originally thought that I could have the two barrels uh, side by side and have enough space in between to uh, just have these two um, overflows essentially connected to each other like I have the bottom with a simple connection in the middle. Well, once I got the barrels in place, I quickly discovered, so I, so I would have had, you know, barrel on the left, on the right, and barrel on the right, on the left. Uh, so that I would be filling into this one and then have the two connections right next to each other. Well, that didn't work out. So the fix was uh, to place them on the outside and do a big, long uh, overflow connection together. So things I would do different for next year, probably not drill so quickly, and that way I wouldn't have this crazy thing. And probably put the overflow off of the front uh, and maybe just a simple pipe and down. And... Uh, Big other thing that I have an issue with is I've got leaks. So I don't know if you can see on the on the video here, but my uh, my tap is leaking. I've tried to seal it up, but you can probably see there there's some water gathering. So that's a slow leak. I tried to caulk, and the pressure's uh, too much for the caulk, so I got to figure out a better way to keep the uh, water from leaking there. But it's a, it's a slow, slow leak. So uh, so the last question here then is what kind of water pressure do we get? So let's go over here and 
turn on the spigot. And I actually have a bit of an advantage because my property uh, is at a downward angle from the pipes. So with the spigot turned on, water slowly comes through the pipes and should be flowing here. There we are. So hey, not bad. So I usually would just take that around to each of my uh, little garden plants. It's not enough uh, pressure for a sprinkler or anything, but hey, it's free and it's collected from the from the rain. So that's my rain barrel system, and hopefully you can learn some lessons. I'll definitely be improving on the system for next year, and maybe you'll post another video then.